good morning students so today we will be studying what team work is so i should mention that team work is a part of soft skills that is in your module 3 of your syllabus okay so what is a team work or what does team work mean so team work is a term used for joining the efforts of members in a project or working together to achieve a common goal okay so effective teams are necessary for continual growth development and management of an organization okay and the success of any organization depends on the kinds of team it has right so effective teams are an intermediary or it works as an intermediary towards getting good sustainable results you agree and smart leaders encourage good teamwork and give teams the authority to make decisions based on what they see is right and smart individuals or i can say employees in any sort of business learn how to work well remaining within the team since that is becoming more and more important in any field of work so it was all about team work now what is a team a team is a group of individuals all working together for a common purpose right they have a set of complementary skills required for completion of a particular task okay so there are few members in a team so each one must be specialized in a particular area okay they have some complementary skills okay understood so next is characteristics of a team leader a team leader is very necessary for a team to run well right so who is a team leader a team leader is someone who provides guidance instruction direction and leadership to a group of individuals for what for the purpose of achieving a key result yes so he monitors the qualitative and quantitative achievements of the team and report the results to either managers or seniors right and the leader should also possess few qualities such as compassion integrity patience okay these qualities should be there within a team leader these qualities are must okay so now is aspects of team building on which aspects a team should be built okay so the importance of team work is not just limited to work okay effective team work and team building can be useful in most aspects of life any time we coordinate with others including our daily interactions with family with friends we require team work right so the larger the structure the more important a team concept becomes so any successful structure starts with a solid base therefore breeding efficient team work begins with building an effective high performance team okay now this can be done by few steps i can say so the first step to do or to build an effective team is open communication so among all team members this is the first step to create high performance and effective team and without communication the whole project of the team will fail right 
so everybody should be open or everybody should be vocal in whatever they are doing in whatever they are planning in whatever decisions they are making right there should be open communication between each member of the team so what is the second aspect the second aspect is input of all the team members so so the second point is very important to build a strong team so keeping team balance and effectiveness is mandatory to have an intricate role between the team right so team members if they feel left out or if they feel deprived then they can tend to project negative ideas and create a toxic environment there remains a chance okay so team leaders should not take this chance and they should include or they should emphasize all the inputs of all the team members understood so the third point or the third step or the third aspect of team building is acknowledgement and resolve conflicts so with all these different people coming together to work on a task it can sometimes lead to conflicts so team should always acknowledge issue right away and focus on the present challenge they should focus then and there and resolve the conflict so that the whole work is done smoothly understood they should not neglect problems they should acknowledge them okay so the fourth point or the fourth step is provide resources and qualified team members so the availability of proper resources is very vital so in a nutshell it is important to create learning opportunities with training and experience eventually so if the employees of your team feel that they are not getting proper resources they are not getting proper training so their experiences are not getting enriched so this is not good right now the fifth point is implementation and improvements so implementation is the point at which analysis and planning becomes reality right so if everything goes according to the plan then the implementation process should also be smooth and efficient yes now the last point or the last step is reward and reflect this is very essential this is a token for encouragement okay so teams that work hard and commit to finishing their goal needs to be rewarded as a team and also as an individual so these six points are the basic aspects of team building without these six points a strong team cannot be built now the stages of team building so the first step is the forming stage in this stage most team members are positive and polite in their approach some remains very anxious as they haven't fully understood what is going to happen what work the team will do yes so the team leader here plays a dominant role in this stage and this stage do not last for a long time this is a very short period of time this lasts for a very short period of time understood so this was the forming stage the next stage is the storming stage what happens here in this stage people start to push against boundaries established in the forming stage in the forming stage they were very new right so they were not understanding what was happening but in storming stage they have gained a little bit of experience and they start to push boundaries established in the forming stage and this is the stage where many teams fail here 
there remains conflict between team members for their natural working style because there are many people with their different working style so it is very common to draw conflicts okay so this was the storming stage and next is the norming stage so what happens here in this stage in the norming stage people start to resolve their differences which were created in the storming stage here they start to appreciate colleagues start to respect the authority as a leader in a nutshell they understand that by conflict or by differences nothing can be achieved okay so they have to be united to achieve something so a kind of bond develops between them they start to appreciate they start to respect understood what happens in norming stage now the last step is the performing stage what happens here in this stage the team reaches the performing stage when hard work leads without friction okay there remains no friction to the achievement of the team goals and as a leader as a leader they the members become more confident they understand well how to manage their team members okay they get to know much about their work how they work how they concentrate and even the team leaders can develop the team members here understood so this for the stages of team development now why teams fail okay what are the reasons why teams fail so teams can fail due to a number of reasons like a team is like if a team is of two or more people okay who partner to create something mm -hmm. of worth and use each other skills to make things happen so in this course a number of obstacles can appear to disturb the free flow of the work okay there can be lack of resources there can be lack of planning focus then even training or management there can be less support on the part of the management or it can be unsurety of what requires to become a good team yes so finally by now you must have understood how teams work yes or what can what are the advantages of team work so like creativity and learning are fostered due to team work moreover team work also builds trust and companionship among team members it also teaches conflict resolution and risk taking skills okay so today up to this next day or in my next lecture we will learn another soft skill thank you